so I'm just editing the video um, that's about to go up later on today. It's currently Monday. I am really, really sorry, but I forgot to um, film an ending for it. So I'm literally just popping on in the future to say hi. I hope you're all well. I hope your week's going well so far. Um, I am chocker with, I'd like to say it's a cold, but I spoke to the doctors this morning. I've got a whooping cough, guys. It's not good. So I'm not going to keep you as long because I'm about to have a choking fit. I'm all right when I have paracetamol and stuff, but the minute they wear off, it's game over. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to pop on and say I hope you enjoy the vlog. Um, I hope you're all well. And enjoy your week and i shall see you as, as soon as i'm feeling a little bit better um there are a few other videos to come up this week that i'm gonna try and film so keep an eye out for them as well and i'll see you all soon take care lots of love and stay safe goodbye for now see you later hi i hope you're all well how's everyone doing if you're returning thank you and if you're new hi my name's rosie i generally upload videos a couple of times a week lifestyle vlogs hauls that kind of stuff if you are new to my channel i would love if you could subscribe and join my youtube family i'm also over on instagram so if you could give me a check out over there i do generally upload my videos daily and please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it so it's been a while i feel like well it's been a while since i've actually picked up the camera and had like a proper chat with you guys and everything and just like i don't know just spent some time with you and stuff so i thought today i would pick up the camera and yeah we could spend the day together or spend a few days together i don't know we'll see where this goes anyways i have a few plans for today so it's not just me in the house and stuff i've got a few bits and pieces i need to do but i just wanted to have a catch up with you and stuff because as i said it feels like it's been that long so i'm just getting sorted um and then we're going to go into town because i have to drop megan off at the doctor's and then i'm gonna nip to primark i want to go and see if i can find a tray like a tray for the living room um just from a dining table i haven't even got a dining table for my coffee table um because yeah the uh, the vase and everything that it, it, it's just looking a little bit lonely and i just yeah when i'm looking for things i can never find anything because anybody else like that i'm looking for my foundation i've got some new makeup that i wanted to kind of like play with um once again like look fantastic and that will have an, a bit of a to do and i just thought you know what i'm gonna grab some i don't really want to put too much on today because it's quite muggy is anybody else where anybody else lives it's it's yeah, it's, it's quite muggy so my plan of action is so i've just picked up some aviv absolutely love this um i've got the skin nova which is the primer um i absolutely if you can absolutely love this and it's really affordable um and it's cruelty free and it's vegan and yeah so just in case anybody wants to put a little comment in my comments that yeah the stuff isn't um cruelty free and stuff i've already done my skincare um i'm just gonna pop because i'm using retinol at the moment so i'm just gonna pop a little bit more some cream on because you can never this is factor factor 50 because you can never have too much sun cream on your face um but yeah i don't i don't want to put too much on because i don't know about anybody else but it just i just end up sweating it off um and i can't be done if i keep looking down there guys it's because there's a mirror so i've lost a tooth um it well i haven't exactly lost a tooth i've lost a filling another one so that fell out and i was at the dentist the best of it is is i was at the dentist a, a couple of weeks ago um and the dentist looked at it and then basically says that it was fine um and that it didn't need anything doing to it because it was fine and it was strong enough and I could feel movement at that point um but apparently no according to the dentist everything was fine and <laughs> then it happened 
was it yesterday a couple of days ago a couple of days ago the filling fell out so yeah something else to deal with and then what else oh right yeah the biggie at the moment as well my lovelies is um i am no longer employed at the moment i'm not working i have given my job up i've handed my notice in um i gave my job up i just felt that 14 hours was far too long of shifts um I also felt that I was kind of like missing a lot at home. Um, this is so nice and it goes on just really, really well. And I just want, I don't want anything too major. I just want a little bit of a glow, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I, your girl is literally your girl. Oh my God, how, how old am I? Who is she? Um, I am, yeah, I'm no longer, um, well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm now, a, I am now a stay-at-home mummy. Um, for how long? I'm not sure. Am I looking for another job? Yes. But it needs to be something that kind of like fits in around school hours and everything. Because um, I just think, like, I was working every weekend. I was doing 14-hour shifts and it was my idea in the first place. I can't really say anything. I just didn't realise how much it would actually take out of us and i just missed being at home with the kids um and i thought Do you know what there's a lot of other stuff going on as well um like with my husband's health and stuff like that and i just thought Do you know what it's kind of like i'm just going to take a little bit of time now for myself and my family um and i'm just going to stay at home for a little bit so we'll see how things go um i might yes obviously as i said before am i, am I gonna return back to work probably in the future at some point um i just think for the time being i'm gonna enjoy some time being at home so i am i'm gonna finish getting ready because i'm sitting here like yeah an absolute my daughter's at the, hos at the hospital my daughter's at the doctor's I'm going to finish getting ready. My daughter's at the doctor's in, I'm going to say, probably about 40 minutes. So I'm on a timer <laughs> story of my life. Uh I started this vlog on Wednesday, went shopping, was an absolute disaster, didn't really pick anything up, didn't find anything, um, but in all fairness Wednesday was pretty busy, so Lexi, we had an appointment with Lexi to see her new secondary school, oh my god, is anybody else's kids start secondary school in September, I mean I've been there before but do you know what, it never changes, I think each child, you know, you just worry for them and stuff, um, and obviously because Lexi, we're going through the process of um, seeing whether or not Lexi is on the spectrum, it's a little bit worrying. She got a little bit upset because she's not going to be, well they found out that they're not going to be in any of the form classes, aren't going to be with any of the friends and stuff. So we're a little bit concerned about that, but hopefully we can sort something out. Um, I've got a sore throat, like, I don't know what's wrong, but I've got up this morning, my throat hurts. My ear hurts. Um, there's a lot going round. I do know that much. <laughs> Yesterday I went and got my hair done. So we are in the process of going lighter. I don't want to go like blonde blonde because I think it would just wash me out. But we are in the process of going lighter. Um, and it's had a cut. And I think this is the first time I've worn it down in absolutely forever in fact since I, I actually like got it cut the last time because i normally just chuck it up now and i don't bother but i thought i'd wear it down today um so we're gonna go and get some lunch and i'm gonna go and get some paint for the kitchen so we're gonna go to b and q and stuff and then yeah i've hurt i've hurt my hand i was hoovering and it's kind of like there's i don't know a bit of plastic or something and it's caught us and it's done that to my hand, so that's quite sore. Um, 
So yeah, let's go and get some. We're gonna go and get some lunch. I think. Are you booking a table now? Right, Hubby's just booking a table. Um. <laughs> so we're just gonna go turn up and hope for the best. I'm not going to McDonald's. Yeah, we'll get like, some chicken selects if not. I'm not going to McDonald's. Actually, has anybody tasted those chicken selects? I hate wow. Mackies, but I like them. Yeah, I don't like them, but I swear those chicken selects are so nice. And then I watched, my husband showed us a video the other day on YouTube and they say you should never ever watch. Was it YouTube or was it? It was on Facebook. Facebook? Oh, well, there you go. I'm not on Facebook, but you showed us a picture. Well, you showed us a video, didn't you? Mm -hmm. of, um, I might have done that camera. It meant to me look like the dodgy Hulk. <laughs> Which version is it? <laughs> Which version of Hulk? <laughs> Bless. So yeah, the um, this video was not good. It was basically pictures. I can't find my handbag. I lost my handbag. It's in the car. In the car. There you go. Um, yeah, it was basically pictures of. Well, it was, was a video. video What's the of The ice cream machines. If they don't clean it properly, it's full of maggots. Basically. Oh, yeah, disgusting. Not good. <laughs> so I don't know if I like McDonald's now. <laughs> We're not selecting McDonald's, by the way, for sponsorship purposes. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> the kids would be happy. The kids would be very happy. One of the favourite places. Um, I just have to shut this door. Buddy, come on. Is have you got your keys? Yep. Right, okay. Just because... We've got two sets of we've got two sets of car keys now. I'm going to get some paint for this. I'm not doing pink now. See this colour here? Like I'm not doing that colour. Oh god, you can't even see it. Right, wait a minute. This colour here. We're not doing this colour now. I'm not I'm well I'm not doing that colour now. I simply because I think it's my kitchen's tiny as it is and that's too dark pink. It's gonna enclose it. I've had time to think on it. Does anybody else do that when you have time to think on it? I've had quite a bit to think on it actually. <laughs> um, and I'm, yeah, I'm, we're not going pink. We're going to go a different colour. So we're going to go to B&Q and have a look. Okay. It's my only one colour. <laughs> so you've got burger, fries. I've got some sort of stack thing. Um, the cheese tastes more like mustard. Because it is just mustard by the looks of things. And I've got the prawn skewers with flatbread salad and some fries. Very nice. So dinner was actually really, really rubbish. Um, it wasn't very nice at all. And the prawns were overcooked. It was like eating rubber. And yeah, it just was quite loud behind us. Um, Bless, you know, not that I'm complaining, obviously, you know, it's nice to have a good old chin, chin wag and stuff and a catch up. So we're back home now anyways. Um, yeah, it, in fairness, what was your, your burger like? Uh, under-seasoned, <laughs> but edible. Under-seasoned, but edible. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't think it was worth the money, but never mind. I just guess, yeah. That'd be fine. Um, well, it's the fact that they mix the cheese sauce up and put loads of mustard all over it. Oh, yeah, it's, it, it's, um, was it your salad? Was it the salad that came with... The chips and the salad then. The chips, the chips came with like um, a cheese sauce, was meant to come with a cheese sauce. It was more like a mustard sauce. There was no cheese to that sauce whatsoever. It was not very good. So we're having, um, anyways, yeah, lesson learned. So we're having um, turkey mince. We're, we're having turkey, chamol meatballs. Tea? You're cooking, aren't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just some turkey. And then we nipped to Aldi. I mean, we didn't get this from Aldi. This is obviously what we bought yesterday. It's um, because nipped to Aldi, quickly got some. Swizzles, drumstick, raspberry squash. How much is this? Like a pound? A pound each. A pound each. That's the raspberry one. And then we just got the bubblegum one. Um, if one or two things will happen, they'll either love it that much, it'll all be gone by the time they go to bed. Or 
They'll hate it and it'll still be sat there in a week time. Well, I think they'll love it. It's just one of those things, isn't it? Jade will like it because it's raspberry and stuff. Um, and we just picked up some. This is just what we couldn't get hold of yesterday or that we forgot to pick up yesterday when we went shopping. Um, beef stock cubes, some chicken stock cubes, garlic, passata. And then I picked up some Pop-Tarts for the kids, little treats. Cookies and cream and cinnamon um, and then we've got, <coughs> my throat is so like <coughs> dry, definitely, definitely, <coughs> I thought I'd just been snoring or something, <laughs> definitely coming down with something, um, tomato puree and then some mild spinach and these is basically, or this is basically is you're gonna copy the not recipe? all of it because it didn't like it's i found it didn't taste a great deal of anything mm, chef leroy simpson it's not garden rims mm. <laughs> actually it looks really nice with the colors and how are we feeling today chef Simpson. I was better tell us that getting recorded. <laughs> Guys, I've decided it's official. I hate oh sugar, I hate retail packs. I've just come shopping, I've come out for a few bits and pieces. It's currently Saturday. Um I've just dropped my sweets everywhere. I'm starving, I've had no dinner. Just because it's Father's Day, I thought I'll come and get some bits and pieces from Marks and Spencer's little treat. Um, it's absolutely chocker. This is it. These are my dinner. Hmm. <laughs> I love Percy pigs. Let's just drive for a minute to get out of this retail park because hmm, people are going to be thinking, "Who am I talking to?" For a start off, you get looked at like you some sort of crazy person when you're vlogging and stuff um, so yeah it's official I think I've got a summer cold I've gotten up this morning my throat's not as bad but it's still sore and I had to take paracetamol last night um, so I think I've definitely definitely got a summer cold I'm just waiting for the cough to come in I've got the runny nose and the sore throat I'm just hoping it's not whooping cough like my husband had um, I don't think it is Just doing my daily duty and letting people out <laughs> um, so yeah I'm just I've been to Smith's because we're gonna have a game night tonight about to move you guys about to move about to move yours you fell off the dash <laughs> I really need to get one of those holders and stuff so as I was saying yeah it's quite hard because there's because we're quite because well because we're a large family trying to find board games that cater for like six and over um, so I've just picked up Cluedo and I've got some pizzas and bits and that as you would have seen in Marks and Spencer's it was like I think it was two mains or well two pizzas and two sides for like 12 quid so I thought why not it's Father's Day nice little treat and stuff so I'll show you that when I get home because um, it's all currently sitting in the back of the car nice little haul and stuff we were meant to be going to the pictures but so my hubby's got because we get Sky and stuff my hubby gets two free tickets a month um, but we didn't read the small print properly so you can only use them like, between Sunday and Thursday so we're going to go tomorrow instead anyways because there's like six of us going so we might as well use the tickets we got them for nothing um, so we've got quite a busy day on tomorrow there we'll, we'll go over that bit because it seems to be where my face is the glare kind of if I go over this way there's a glare see right there anyways yeah I'll put my face here Ignore this little bit of a mess in the background. It's chicken for the chorizo and chicken skewers and pepper skewers. And there's a few other bits and pieces in my handbag and stuff. Um, but I've just literally got in. Again, as I was saying, ooh, there we go. Choose <laughs> cheesy, dirty cheesy fries or cheesy dirty fries. 
Cajun spice fries topped with a Montgomery Jack cheddar cheese, bacon and jalapeno sauce and mozzarella and they look really really nice um, and again it was two pizzas, two sides for 12 quid, can't go wrong. Um, Stone baked pizza, this is the ham and pineapple one because Lexi loves ham and pineapple. I try to get like the bases and stuff and the toppings that I know they're all going to like. Um, smoky barbecue chicken, looks really nice. Magnificently meaty, <laughs> apparently. Um, and then another magnificently meaty because I couldn't find a pepperoni one. I didn't have pepperoni. And Jaden likes the meat feast as well as the pepperoni, so I can kind of. Pepperoni is his favourite, but I can still just about get away with the meat feast. And then some pretzels. These were like £1.75 each bag. I love about Max and Spencer's because I love pretzels and I usually pick loads up at Christmas time and stuff. But if we're having a family night, I just got two, two of them. Um, if we're having a family night, I will try and pick them up because they're good with like dips and stuff. Did I show you the dip? Show you the dip. It is. It's just the Mexican style fiesta dips. Marks and Spencers, you know, they do a one that's got like, um, it's a layers of different, it's like um, a fajita layered dip, yeah? Well, this one's the same, but they're not layered, they're just in separates. Um, so you get like a zesty a guacamole, a natural chili cheese, a sour cream and chive, and a tangy tomato salsa. Um, and I think that was like two pounds something, or it could have been three quid. It was either 260 or three pounds. Don't quote me on that. Um, some more nachos. These are the cool sweet potato tortilla chips. These are really, really nice. Um, is it going to focus? I'll take my face out of there and it'll focus. There we go. Gluten free, sauce of fibre, and it's sweet potato. So it's about one calorie healthier than <laughs> normal nacho chips. <laughs> I actually, in fairness, just got them because I like um, I like them and I like sweet potatoes. And then just some more cool natural chips. I should just bring this bag over here, shouldn't I? Because that glare is like annoying me, so I can imagine how much it's annoying you guys. Um, some more cheesy, dirty fries. My husband will be pleased with them because he loves things like that. This is another side, so I just got some coleslaw. Hopefully Marley's not going to eat it all and I can actually have some with my pizza. And then one of the other sides that I got was just jalapeno or popper bites. Sounds really nice. Um, and then something else. Now I don't usually drink a lot of alcohol. In fairness, I haven't really drank anything for, I'm going to say, a good few months now, probably. I can't even remember the last time. I think it was my birthday back in January. And even then it was just a Prosecco spritzer. Because um, it was my birthday. But this... You pick it up in... I'll, I'll move my face so it's not thing like it's not focusing on my face. This is like a beer. It's a Belgian cherry wheat beer. It's only 3% alcohol. Um, which is actually really good. And it is basically, it's a mixture of wheat beer and cherry juice. And it's absolutely, I had a taste of this, like my husband got a couple of bottles of this a few weeks ago. And I had a taste of it. And you know what? It's absolutely beautiful. If you like dark fruits, it's like that. But it's a mixture of fruit juice and, well, it's a mixture of cherry juice um, and, yeah, wheat beer. So it's not full alcohol. It's so nice. Anyways, I picked up four of those. It's about two pound a bottle. It's Father's Day. Little treat. So this is what we've got to choose from. Um, I just think if we do any more, I mean, we've got a cupboard full in there, but I just think if we do any more, it's just gonna be overkill. So we've got Operation, Frustration, Monopoly, and the new game of Cluedo out. And surprise, surprise, Marley is staying out how did i know that was going to happen 
Anyways, yeah. Some games night. Everybody's on a console, apart from Jaden, bless him, who's drunken into the uh, skewers. Chorizo and chicken, may I had. Look at this state of living room. This is like raw, raw Saturday night family life. <laughs> yeah, but it's a games night, so do you know what? We'll clean up later. Oh, for number six. Oh my God, she's lovely. You're throwing sixes out like the reedy. Oh, if only she rolled a five. I was going to tackle my go. You had your go. I don't think I've moved once. Well, I yeah. have moved. Oh, you moved to them and you said you moved to them. Yeah, but I haven't moved my... You don't collect it yet until you pass it properly. No, she collects it now. That's oh. just pulling in the money like this in the mother. You can start buying that was all that. Oh shit, that's right. Messy! Oh, no. It was a big mess. I'm paying for that. Because your dad and your brother were sitting on it. Well, world one. Uh, world one. Well, 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 world one, that's again. Alright, Sandy, it's your turn. No, darling. I find it funny how like she took a full loop just because she's so lucky. Mm. What did I see? Mm, just jealous. You were sitting saying about you doing it before. Yeah. <laughs> My god, and then you look at I'm sixes. Oh. Then you look at oh, mum and she still hasn't even gone off the first <laughs> and she still hasn't even gone off the first side of the board. None of that. Rosalina helps you save the galaxy. Collect one card. That's just a scam. Alright, give me. Like uh, you save the entire galaxy and only gets one coin? You should get uh, like ten or something. You should get five. like five. From the drug again, just put that at the bottom. Um, just, just... Oh, morning. Oh my god, have you heard my throat? I'm just making my breakfast, guys. I sound like I'm really, really not well. I've took some paracetamol. My throat feels like somebody's just attacked it with sandpaper. Honestly, it's so sore. The cough's kind of like starting to come out, but yeah, it's not, it's not good. Um, I don't know what it is that I've got, I'm not sure, but my voice is very raspy. <laughs> I <wouldn't. coughs> I sound like I'm a chain smoker of 20, well, we'll say 60 a day, honestly, so I'm just making my breakfast. Anyways, I'm making porridge and stuff. Um, happy Father's Day to anyone out there that's a dad or has the role of a dad. Yeah. What's your plans for today? Um, just let my new balls. I picked these up from TK Maxx the other day. <coughs> my little shopping trip that in all fairness just turned out to be an absolute disaster but I did pick up some new rolls so I'm just making porridge um, plans for today I've just got up please ignore the um, state yeah this is the fresh the raw early morningness of my house, well of me in fairness. Um, so I'm making my breakfast, it's currently half past seven. I'm making my breakfast, so I've got about half an hour, an hour, before I get everybody else up. I'm gonna do bacon and eggs for everyone else, I'm just having porridge. Um, and then we've got a really busy day, so I'm hoping, I've just taken some paracetamol, so I'm hoping that it's going to work and it's not going to get any better, well, any worse. Because um, the plan is, we've got the cinema at, I think, about half past ten. Because we were supposed to book it yesterday. If you remember, I said that um, we get two free tickets because obviously we're with Sky. But the tickets don't work on a Friday and Saturday, you can't use them. So we, anyways, we booked for today. But then we've got bowling as well later on in the day, so it's a proper fun on day. And then I'm cooking, I'm making a gammon. Um, I was meant to be doing a Sunday dinner, but I think 
I think I'm just gonna do like gammon, roast potatoes and eggs. Like my husband says gammon, chips and egg, but I think instead of doing the chips, I'm just gonna do like roast potatoes because yeah, I've got the potatoes for the roast potatoes. Um, so I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna finish making my breakfast. It's just the microwave guys um, it's actually crazy i feel like because i'm so used to getting up at like five o'clock well, we'll say half past five because it used to be half past five when i was at work and stuff i feel like it, it's just really strange having my weekends back to myself and um, being a lady of leisure again i'd like to say but you know there's that much to do in the house especially on the weekend Today is like preschool day. Um, it just feels weird. Am I looking for another job at the moment? No. I think I'm going to take a little bit of time just to be at home, spend some time with the kids because, in all fairness, I did miss the kids. Um, oh! If anybody's curious as well, my husband's new job, he is a delivery driver. <laughs> he's going from working with kids and stuff to he's now, um, yeah, he's going to work as a self-employed delivery driver. So he's going to give that a shot and see how he likes that. Um, I think he starts that next week, but again, Thank you to everybody that um, wished him good luck. We have booked a holiday for my wedding anniversary in August. So I've literally got, I think it's about 69 days till we go away. The problem is, right, so this happened last, was it last year or the year before? I think now it would be the year before so about yeah not last year but the year before we booked a holiday for our wedding anniversary and it got cancelled last minute it got cancelled and we weren't able to go so i'm not going to tell you as i know honestly like i hate it when people say that but you can kind of see where I'm coming from. I'm just a little bit worried that if I say where I'm going and stuff like that, and I get all excited and then, yeah, and then they go and cancel it on us. So, um, I will probably, yeah, I'll let you know closer to the time when we're actually going, um, where we're going, but I'm really excited. I've never been there before. And uh, yeah, it's for my wedding anniversary. I will have been married, oh my word, nine year, wow. We made it to the nine year mark. Um, yeah, so I'll let you know later. Anyway, as well, close to the time, I'm gonna go and eat my porridge. Well, I'm gonna make a cup of tea and then I'm gonna eat my porridge with my fruit and my honey and my peanut butter. The roads aren't actually that busy because everybody else will probably still be in bed, you know, because it's Father's Day. <laughs> and so we should be able to get to like the pictures on time. Um, and it'll just be the, even if we're a little bit late, it'll just be like the adverts and stuff, so it won't be too bad. What's everybody else's plans for today? Let me know in the comments. How did you spend Father's Day? When you come to the pictures, and and here. we have a VIP screening just for us. I'm actually yeah, lying. <laughs> What's happened is, yeah, I'm actually lying. What's happened is, we've waited that long to come and see the film that everybody else has seen it so we've actually got the whole cinema to ourselves yeah. so we can sit anywhere and <laughs> yeah this is crazy i love it where are we sitting children i don't know just sit wherever you want then absolutely love it look at this light blue light yay oh look at that we're getting on the vip seats remember 
when we were dancing, when the when we were all by ourselves at the on the Super Mario movie. This is crazy. <laughs> we were dancing what at have? the bottom. Welcome, sit with me. Anyone? I'm sitting. Anyone? I don't speak to strangers, oh, darling. <laughs> right, where are we sitting? Is this the right one? Yeah. We are in the right. We are in the right screening, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Screen free. Screen free. And they've actually held. We're we're late, so yeah. But it's forwards. so nice of them. What? To hold it for us? Yeah. Well. No, they just wouldn't have played it if no one turned up. If we hadn't turned up, yeah, they just wouldn't have put it on. I've not got them out yet, but I just don't know how you're getting them if you're up there. What the hell? There's a cookie in there. That's nice, so they've not even cleaned it. Oh well. All right, let's go. Can't complain. Just us. Alright, well, don't come back for the sweets then, we'll eat them. Yep. Bumpers. Oh, I'm 